hello everyone welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to use tailwind css in your react native project so if you are building your react native project using expo or react native cli you'll be able to use tailwind css in your project and in this video i'm going to walk you through all that so without further ado let's jump into this video so the first thing you have to do is make sure you open your virtual device here you can get this virtual device from android studio and also you need a code editor like vs code and once you have both open head to your browser and go into reactnative.dev and you're going to set up your development environment and you can set up react native using two different process and the first one is expo go quick start and also react native cli quick start in this video we're going to be using expo go all you have to do is copy this command right here and we're going to head back into our code editor but before we do anything here let's just create a folder right here and we're going to call that react native tailwind and this folder we're going to drag this into our code editor and also we are going to bring this out then we're going to click these three dots go to terminal click on new terminal and once this open all you have to do is just paste the code that you copied just now and you're going to say you don't want this to be called awesome project but tailwind react native so select that and this is going to install react native using expo go let's bring this up and while this is getting ready how fast this install will depend on your internet connection so make sure to have a stable and fast connection when you're doing this so we head back to our browser and we're going to go to this website which is nativewind.dev this is how to install tailwind css on mobile apps and you're going to click on expo because that is how we install react native in this previous installation so in expo right here you're going to do this if you've not done this before in our case we've done that and we're going to see it into our app pretty soon but before that we're going to make sure that we install these dependencies as well so let's just check if our installation of react native is ready so once this is ready all we have to do is follow the procedure that says cd tailwind react native which is a folder that we just created so we're going to say cd tailwind react native click on that and once we do that you can head back to native win.dev and we've done these two steps the next step we have to do is install native wind and also the dependence in tailwind css so just copy this head back to your code editor and you're going to type npm i which stands for install and you're going to paste the code that we just copied now which is native wind click that and it will install native wind for us head back into your browser and the next thing you have to install is this copy this code or command then add into your code editor this is installing give it a moment and when that is ready you need to install what we just copied and once that is ready you can as well see npm i then you're going to paste this code right here which you just copied but we don't want to install the latest tailwind css because it doesn't work good with the latest expo so all we have to do is just install a specific version that is stable and we're just going to click on enter which is basically tailwind css at 3.3.2 once that is ready you're going to see your installations in your package.json pretty soon so if you scroll up you're going to see native wind and also tailwind css so the next step is to head back to the browser and in step two it says set up tailwind css all you have to do is just copy everything here Go back to your code editor and paste this this basically will create a .js file in station for us and it is going to look like this which is tailwind.config.js now before you're able to use tailwind css in your react native project you need to replace this content with something so you head back to your browser and as you can see here we have to remove this and we are going to replace it with this so just copy everything here copy it here and paste this right here 
so you're basically replacing the content part of this module so what this section is basically telling us is in the app.js file extension or jsx or typescript it is going to use tailwind css and also we get to choose a specific directory that we might want to use in our case we're going to change this to be src which is basically the source folder which we are going to create in a moment so any file inside the source folder is going to use tailwind css and this is what this basically means so you head back to your browser and in the step three we still also need to add something as you can see here this plugin we're supposed to add it in our code so just copy that and in the babel.config.js head back to your code editor go to babel.config.js and after this preset you're going to add that plugin right away once you have done that you're ready to use tailwind css in your code and you can see in the documentation here that is it start writing code so head back into your code editor and let's start our app the way to start a react native app is basically npx expo starts and that is because we install our react native using expo so give this a moment to start our expo app and in a moment you're going to see a dialog like this which will show you how to open your app this qr code is basically for ios users that is if you have an iphone you can just take your camera and scan this and this is going to open this app or this project on your phone but you have to make sure that you download the expo go app on your play store which is basically expo go and if you're using a virtual device like mine all you have to do is just press a and this you open on a virtual device or you own a real android device all you have to do is just plug in your code into your system and you'll be able to view your app on your android device in my case i'm going to just type a to open this app right here so it is saying opening this particular port on pixel 7 pro api 33 which is the name of my device and as you can see expo go is opening here and that is because i've already installed expo go on this device before and the next step is going to do is, is going to bundle our app for android and you're going to see the process right here so so once this is ready you're going to see android bundling complete and in a second or two you're going to see your app right here it says open app and you can see here the name of our project tailwind react native and you can see the version and the sdk version as well just click on continue and you can also reload your app if you're having an issue or you can copy the link to share with people and also you can just close this for now and you can see it says open up app.js which is basically this to start working on your app so let's just bring this down and as you can see this is our basic app but we want to make sure that we're not using default styling like they have here so basically if you want to use this default styling you can just use it straight away like this and in our case you can see the background color is not this color but it is red and this is going to change to red immediately but we don't want to use that we want to use tailwind css to start our project so all you have to do is just remove everything here and wherever you have style like this because that doesn't exist as you can see styles doesn't exist which is basically this you have to remove it and once you remove that everything will change to normal as you can see our app is working perfectly so to use tailwind css all you have to do is just put a prop here called class name and you're going to say this looks like this with a double string and inside of this is where you're going to put your tailwind css style and the first one we're going to do is say we want a background which is bg and we're going to say this is orange and orange of 600 if you save that you're going to see our tailwind css works right away and let's just make our app centered and let this text be in the middle so all you have to do is just say flex of one justify of center items of center and our text will come into the center our text let's give it a nice styling and here we can say class name as well and this class name is going to say text of white 
which will give our text a white color and also we can say text 3xl which will make our text really big let's just reduce that to about xl and that is how to use tailwind css in your react native project so i hope you enjoyed this video remember to click the thumbs up button if you like it and also subscribe to the channel so without further ado start styling your react native app using tailwind css thank you very much and see you later